We're going to use Adobe Edge Animate to build a banner ad with several images and transitions in it. Let's go ahead and create a new file. And here is the, the windows that come up. Uh, this area is called our staging area. Uh, toolbars are up here. Properties palette is here. Our timeline is down here. This is where we'll do most of our editing. And here's our library, and then the Elements panel is very similar to the Layers panel in, in Photoshop. So if you need to change the order of, of your elements or your layers, you do that here rather than doing that uh, in the timeline. First, let's set our file to the correct size. We're going to be making a uh, internet banner ad that conforms to the Internet Advertising Bureau uh, standard advertising units for the medium rectangle, which is 300 pixels wide. So we'll set that to 300 and 250 pixels high. So that's the medium rectangle in the Internet Advertising Bureau units. Next, let's go ahead and gather all the images that we're going to use in this, in this project. I've already put them in a folder, so we'll go to our library palette, click on the images, and plus. And these are all the ones that I want to use, so I'll just select all of them open and that imports all of our images into the uh, into the library where we can use them now to put them into our elements. Let's go ahead and save this file before we go too much farther. Uh, file, save, and let's put it, call it something like uh, banner add 300 by 250. Now let's uh, drop the images onto the staging area. I'm going to put them in the same order in which they'll appear in the animated ad. The first one we want is the sketched art. Okay, and I'm actually not going to put it right there in the corner. I'm going to center it in here a little bit more. Something about like that, so that it looks really abstract. Okay, the next one would be the uh, the vector. That's the one that looks uh, the low resolution photo. And then here to get it placed correctly, dial back the opacity. A bit so we can see it. And we'll line it up here. There we go. Bring that opacity back up. Okay, same thing with the next one, which would be the grayscale. Got that one set just about right. Take the opacity down so we can look at it. Looks like they're lined up. Okay, the next one would be the color add. Now that one may need to be resized a little bit. Okay, so let's bring this down. Drag it into position, and we're going to have to enlarge this. And I've played around with this before, and I think it's about 122%. So what we do here is we go down to our transform window and set that in. It does both of them. Now reposition it where it's pretty close to the original, the layers that are under it looks good. Dial that back up. And let's see, I think our last one then is the logo. Our logo is for Tusky Ad Shop. And there's Tusky. Gonna have to be quite a bit smaller. Let's start with 30%. Still too big. 
Take that down to 20%. even a little bit smaller. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Okay, so those are our, are our layers or the, the order of the elements. Okay, now let's, let's lock and hide everything but the first layer that we're going to work on. So hide it here, and then lock it. Hide lock. You can see the layers vanishing as we go through until we get down to this very first layer that we want to work on. Okay, the two main tools or commands we'll be working with here in the timeline on this, on this ad are the toggle pin, which we use that to create keyframes, and the auto transition. Just go ahead and leave the auto transition on or green, and that creates a smoother transitions between your keyframes. For this first element, I'd like to have it show at full opacity for one second and then fade out over the next two or three seconds. So what we'll do is let's take our scrubber bar and move that out to the place where the animation will end at about three and a half seconds. Next, we'll double click in here to create a keyframe. Next, we'll, we'll grab this keyframe and leaving the scrubber bar here at three and a half seconds, indicating that's where the uh, transition ends, we're going to click the keyframe and drag it back to one second. Now, we will take the opacity and put that down to zero. And when we're finished with that, we see that we have 100% opacity at one second, which is where the transition begins, fading to zero percent at three and a half seconds. Let's go ahead and test that to see how it works. We'll rewind to the beginning. We should have one second of full opacity, and then the transition starts. So we'll play that, and there it fades out. All right, let's lock this layer and unlock the next layer that we want to work on, which is the gray picture. Okay, for our second image, the, uh, the gray vector, we want it to fade in while the first one, the, the gray sketch, is fading out. Let's actually have it the fade in and a little bit farther back here. So let's go ahead and put our keyframe, put our scrubber at four seconds. We're going to add a keyframe here. And this time, we will drag the scrubber, with the keyframe in place, we're going to drag the scrubber back to the one second mark, which is where we want it to start fading in. And at that point, let's set the opacity to zero. And run zero to 100 there at four seconds. So let's go ahead and preview that. For the third video, we'll do the same thing. Let's um, go ahead and lock the vector image and unlock our grayscale photo, and that will be the next transition that we'll do. So let's move the scrubber out to about six and a half seconds, and then insert a keyframe there. Now grab the scrubber, move the timeline back to where we want the transition to take effect. At that point, reduce our opacity to zero, and it goes from zero at four seconds to 100% at six and a half seconds. And let's preview that. First transition. And there's the second transition. So you can see, as I, as I preview this one more time, that our animation is changing from something that's, that's very abstract and, and unfamiliar to something that takes shape right before our eyes in the span of about six seconds. In the next part, we'll add color, a little movement, a logo, and some type.